it, it would be time for us to go in a kind of a conclusion or like a, a few few last words because I sure. think there is already a lot of information to process for people. <laughs> sure. So, sure. So if I was to if I was to summarize, maybe you know my thoughts on this is that you know we're busy working very very hard on closing out these very large scale enterprise deals. We think it's going to bring a lot of credibility to the platform, and this is all timed up very nicely with the release of native assets, smart contracts, which are all coming in right now. So if you've been thinking about getting involved in Cardano but weren't quite convinced. This is really the moment, um, you know, as a platform, we're very focused on emerging markets and particularly Africa. So if you want to organize events, um, if you want to create content, if you want to be teaching developer classes, these are all going to be activities that we're going to be needing over the next year. So crucial message. If you're not an ambassador, if your country doesn't have one, please do think about it. Please apply. And that will be the way in which we can we can. You know, uh, communicate and um, and build and build this into something bigger. Yeah, I think it's interesting. Like actually, people have to think of the first mover advantage. You know, like now there is like there is like seats, <laughs> so it's time to it's time to join. But I actually, I think it's it's really interesting to see that actually it's going forward. Because I think for some people, to be honest, it's been a bit frustrating a bit for for the past months. Because you know there is something happening, but. Mm. You're still waiting. Yeah. But... What is it? <laughs> so, so, yeah. so I think that actually it's frustrating for you as well. But no, no, I think that it's. I imagine it's more frustrating for me. <laughs> Probably. No, and actually we know that like working with government and stuff, it's always complicated because there is a lot of procedures and you have to wait for approval of every level and stuff. So it takes forever. But actually, yes, I think that once, you know, it's always the same. Like the most difficult thing is having the first projects don't run in. And then normally, if it's good, it's going to continue. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and a more like open questions, like it's going to be a bit like cliche, but like, how do you see, what would be for you the future of Africa? Do you think that all this technology is going to really help the country to, to raise and to be able to, to be more independent in the future? Because I think it's all about this, letting the people being more responsible for their own things. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of this comes down to this sort of fourth industrial revolution idea, um, you know, the idea that Africa is going to have to have a different development path from other regions which, which have developed. And I, I really believe this, you know, a lot of people think that Africa's development path may be similar to China's, where it's going to be manufacturing and, and things like this. And, you know, I'm not I'm not 100 percent convinced on this. I'm also slightly concerned, I think, that with automation, um, we may actually miss that opportunity for that type of growth here. You know, if the cost of automation brings down manufacturing and the need to actually use human labor to produce goods enough, then actually that cheap, low cost labor play, which China did so well, may not be open to Africa. So if you're going to say that we're not going to have the same development model as, as China, then you need to start thinking about what our development model will be. And to me, the, the, the start of that development model is going to have to be to rebuild this financial ecosystem in a fairer way and allowing Africans to have the identity and the loans and the insurance provision, which are currently being withheld from them. Because capital and finance is the beginning of all development. You know, if you can't leverage, if you can't borrow money, um, then you can't, you can't improve, increase the size of your farm. You can't buy that tractor to be able to increase your yields, right? So it's absolutely foundational. And I think that by building these decentralized tools and coming up with these new innovative ways of offering finance and identity, at least we're starting to, uh, starting to engage with the problem uh, of how we're going to do development here. So I don't have all the answers, but I do know that tangibly, um, digital identity and financial inclusion are definitely sensible places to start. Yeah, I think that, that as we said before, this identity thing is is a key. Like when we did some research about it, because for us, or, or like in, in Western countries, sometimes it's difficult to understand that because for us it works, or most of the mm. time it works. But for yeah. instance, it's true that for many people in some countries in Africa, they don't have an identity they just for the system they just don't exist so like as you say you cannot have yeah. an account you cannot have so you cannot buy things you cannot have a property so your loan is not yours and stuff so as soon as you are able to fix this i mm. really think that it can fix a lot of other problems pretty quickly 
And, you know, just to add on something, uh, some context there for people who, you know, may not live here or may not uh, understand the environment. You know, for instance, in Ethiopia, uh, a lot of people have what we call these local Kabele, Kabele IDs. Uh, and often these are pieces of cardboard. So even if you've got an identity, and this is a government ID, is that identity useful? If I take this piece of cardboard and I give it to someone, are they going to learn anything useful about me? Will I be able to then prove to them that, you know, I have an ability to re repay a loan? And the answer is no, right? So by digitizing, forgetting about the fact that we're blockchain and, and how we're doing it, you at least have the opportunity to make that identity useful for you to be able to share it with someone who isn't in the room next to you by me showing them the ID. For me to be able to associate this ID with the fact that I've repaid previous loans and that I probably am you know, a low risk customer. So there's, there's so much stuff which, which you can do from, from this foundation. Um, and yeah, I think, I think IO and blockchain platforms in general have started to recognize this and are investing heavily like we are and trying to make really useful products for people. That's, that's, yeah, I think that that's really, that's the point actually. And, and I think that all this, cause of course we're mainly work talking about Cardano, but it's true that blockchain technology in general and everything that are related to it, or most of the things that might be really, really helpful. And, and I think that as soon as people are gonna really understand the potential, suddenly it's gonna be like massive. Because I think it's gonna take time, still a little bit of time for people, like, I mean, regular people, I don't mean it in a bad way, but like people who are not necessarily aware of all this, when they're gonna understand that it's gonna be their benefits to claim back their identity, to be able to do stuff, I think suddenly it's gonna be like, it's going to switch right? over the thing. So. so thank you. Thank you very much, John. I, I think that we got a lot, a lot of interesting information. I think there is a lot of people who are waiting for some answers about Africa. We're going to be like uh, really happy. Probably in the coming days or weeks, they're going to say, okay, but when? You know, like it's it's the question. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let you know when I know. <laughs> it's the thing, you know, it's going to be like... <laughs> But no, no, it, yeah. it was really, really interesting. Um, I think we've been through the different points uh, we wanted to, to discuss with you. I don't know if you have anything else you, you would like to share with us or some thoughts or... No, no, no. I think that we've covered a lot. Um, as I say, keep an eye out for hopefully the announcement of this sort of Africa special focused event. Uh, that means that all the contracts are done and that we're ready to go. Um, but yeah, you know, after that, uh, we can sort of see how the community feels and we can do a follow up interview maybe after that when all the information is public, uh, if you've got further questions. Thank you very much. It was a, a real pleasure. So hope to talk to you soon with or to hear from you soon with with, uh, with good news. Uh, wish you a good day and uh, see you soon. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Thank you so much.